Recall that contingency tables convey information about two categorical variables. In this case, in the screen, there's the rows, row A and row B, and the other variable would be the difference in the columns, column 1, column 2. The table shows counts of each possible category combination, each combination of row and column, as well as the totals for each category. All right, so here are responses for 15 students who were asked to report their gender and answer yes or no to whether they'd eaten breakfast that day. So I'm going to say if I want to construct a contingency table, um, one variable would be gender, the other variable would be whether or not they eat breakfast. So I start off, you know, create the, uh, the categories. So male, female, yes, no. Then I go through the list, you know, the first one, male, no, male, no, male, yes, female, no, male, no, male, yes, male, yes, male, no, and so on. All together, once I get through that, I see I have uh, four females, yes, three females, no, three males, yes, five males, no. So here's the table, a little easier to read form. So what proportion of the females ate breakfast? We'll look at it. Oops. Yeah. They see there are seven females and four of them ate breakfast. So four sevenths. And in terms of the males, there were eight males and three of them ate breakfast. So three eighths. The difference of the two proportions would be subtract them. So four sevenths minus three eighths that comes out to be 0 0.196.